Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for JAR Productions, and in this video I'd like to show you how to apply an object style to multiple frames at the same time. In some circumstances, you may want to apply an object style to all the frames or all the text frames in your document. For instance, if your document's dimensions are smaller than the screen where its output is being viewed, you'll want to increase the resolution of the images and the text as images. You can increase the resolution for a text frame by selecting the text frame, going to Object, Object Export Options, selecting the EPUB and HTML tab, setting Preserve Appearance from Layout to Rasterize Container, setting the format, PNG will maintain transparency, and setting the resolution to 150 or 300 ppi. You'll also need to make a change in the image quality settings that I'll show you when we export. These steps will increase the resolution, but only for the frame that was selected when the object export options were applied. Those same settings can be applied more efficiently to other content by creating an object style. Let's create an object style. Select the object that has object export options applied. Go to the Object Styles panel, Window, Styles, Object Styles. Click the plus button at the bottom of the panel to add an object style and give it a name. One way to add this object style would be to select another frame or shift select additional frames and then click on the object style to apply it. However, if the document has a lot of frames and a lot of pages, applying the object style could take a lot of time. I could try selecting all, but that only selects all the frames on the current spread. So, what would you do if you wanted to apply this object style to all the frames within a multi-page document, especially if that document had a lot of frames and a lot of pages? You could use Find Change. Go to Edit, Find Change. When the Find Change dialog opens, go to the Object tab. In Search, let's select Document and change Type to Text Frames. You could select All Frames if you'd also like to apply the object style to your other frames. Either way, make sure that the new object style doesn't overwrite any object styles or overrides to object styles that you may have already applied. To make all these frames use our object style, click on the icon on the Specify Attributes to Change button to the right of the Change Object Format section to open the Change Object Format Options dialog. It should open with the style option selected in the Basic Attributes section. Set Object Style to the Object Style we created, then click OK. Clicking OK only confirms what we wanted to change, but it hasn't made the change yet. To apply this object style to all our frames, we need to click Change All in the Find Change dialog. When it's done, InDesign will tell you how many objects were found and how many replacements were made. When you export by going to N5 Export HTML5 with N5, Go to the Advanced section of the Export dialog and set Image Quality to use Object Export Settings. Now the result will contain the content with that new object style applied, in this case with the higher resolution images. Please let us know in the comments what you're using this method of changing object styles to update in your N5 exported content. Thanks for watching! If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to check out N5 at n5.us. Thanks so much for watching.